In this video, I'll give you a brief tour of Nitro for Mac OS. If you've used raw power before, then Nitro will feel familiar, but it has a completely new interface. Nitro can edit and manage images that are stored either in Finder folders or in the photo library. If you use the photo library, make sure to give Nitro full access because it needs to do things like create smart albums for ratings and edited images. For the most part, the app works the same whether you use the Finder or the photo library. However, smart albums, including ratings albums, are a photo library only feature. You can work with both Finder folders and the photo library at the same time, just by opening additional windows. You can do that in the file menu. Nitro has sorting and extensive filtering options for things like file type, flagging, favorites, dates, ratings, and more. In the photo library, you can filter to just show RAW plus JPEG pairs. You can also save smart albums in the photo library, which gets synced over iCloud Photos. You can rate and flag images in Nitro. In the photo library, special albums are made for your ratings and flags that sync over iCloud Photo Library. You can see them right here on the left. If you go to the app's help, you can watch a video just on ratings and flags. The help is accessible from this toolbar item in the upper right corner. This is a file browser window. You can see folders that I put here on the left. When you use the Finder to manage your images, you add folders to the app yourself. Nitro does not read from your disk unless you give it explicit permission. When using the Finder, ratings and edits are placed in XMP files, which are stored next to your original images. You can edit and rate images on external drives or even SD cards. I'll filter by two star images using the quick filter menu. Double click an image to go to a larger image view. You can view metadata by tapping on the info button on the right. On the Mac, there's also integration with EXIF tool for very detailed metadata, which you can see here. Press the EXIF button on the right side toolbar. You can search for metadata by clicking in the search field at the top. Hit the Z key to zoom in to 100%, or you can use Command plus and minus. When you zoom in, the zoom level is remembered when you go from image to image. You'll also find zoom controls on the left side toolbar at the top to zoom in and out, at the bottom to, for zoom to fit and zoom to 100%. The app also has N up and compare modes to view more than one image at a time. That's available on the right side toolbar. Use the shift or command keys to add additional images. Another way to view metadata is to view it in the Info Flip View. That's the third button on the right toolbar. This lets you view metadata on multiple images at the same time. In NUP and Compare mode, Zoom and Pan are synchronized. Sometimes to get a better look, it's best to turn off synchronizing so you can line up your subject and then turn it back on again to synchronize them that way. On the Mac, you can view as many as 16 images up. I guess it's time to buy a bigger monitor. The sidebar is available in the top toolbar. You can also have it locked in place or unlocked. In that case, it shows up temporarily on top of the view. When you pick a new container, it disappears. One frustration that people have these days is getting camera support. Apple has been very slow to add new cameras and formats. Camera support has been a strength of raw power for a while, and Nitro expands on that. Nitro handles many more cameras than photos or other apps that use Apple's raw. In addition, Nitro handles compressed Fuji images and sports modes and high resolution modes, like those found on Olympus cameras. This is a high res raw from an Olympus EM5 Mark III. 
Normally this camera shoots 20 megapixel RAWs, but this one is over 80 megapixels. You can't open this file in Photos or in any other app that uses Apple's RAW. Only Nitro can open and edit this image. Nitro can also open Fuji compressed RAWs and even this RAW image from a GoPro. Editing is very extensive in Nitro. Enter edit by clicking the button at the top of the right toolbar. These are the quick fixes. There's presets and LUTs, adjustment sliders, and masking. Nitro has a full masking implementation with brushes, gradients, depth masks, and AI-generated masks too. You can control masks by luminance or color, and there's an edge-aware brush too. Watch the video on editing for more information. Like ratings, edits are stored in XMP files in the Finder or in the Photo Library if you use Photos. Edits stored in the Photo Library sync across iCloud Photo Library. It also, if you use the Photo Library, edits you made in raw power are automatically read in by Nitro. You can continue to edit those images, but raw power will not be able to read them if you save any changes in Nitro. If you use the file system, raw power now has a feature that lets you export Nitro compatible XMP sidecars. There's also an extensive export feature with a lot of options. You have control over format, color profile, metadata, size, and what to do after the image has been exported. For example, you could open the exported file in another editor like Photoshop. In addition, you can export images from the file system to the photo library, and you can even export the original and the adjustment and rating metadata to the photo library. So you can edit the image on the file system and then store all of the metadata in the photo library and continue editing it. That also works in reverse. You can edit in the photo library and export the original and an XMP file. There's also a watermarking feature which handles text and images. Thanks for watching this tour of Nitro for Mac OS.